everyone and welcome back to Art La Carte and in this episode I'm going to show you how to draw a humpback whale. Some of you might know that I live right on the Oregon coast and love to go and see the beautiful ocean and all of that and one of my big thrills is when I actually get to go there and I see some wildlife. I think it's always special because we can't always go to where they are. We have to wait for them to show us and honor us with a glimpse of them um, through the waves, which makes it awesome fun. One of my friends was a fisherman and actually got to see them do the whole breaching where they come up out of the water and crash down and it's amazing. I would love to be able to do that. But until I get to, I will draw them. So let's head over to my art table and I'll show you how to draw a humpback whale. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is look at a lot of different reference photos so I can see the whale at different angles and positions and all that. That will help me to be able to come up with an angle that I'm really happy with before I start drawing. So the humpback whale um, is really cool. In fact, we do have a few humpback whales that come up our ocean as they migrate from north to south. I've actually never gotten to see one, but some of my friends have seen some. Um, we usually get the gray whales, and every once in a while we get orcas, but I haven't seen orcas either. I've seen gray whales out in our ocean. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to draw kind of this horizontal line. And this is going to be for the back of my gray whale. And I want this to be really, really light. And I'm going to have to draw it light because I'm actually going to change this into a painting. So normally I would draw a little bit darker so that you guys could see it. Um, but I can't do it on this one because this is actually going to be a finished piece when I get done with it. So I want to keep it really light so that I can erase these lines later and you won't see the little pencil marks throughout. Um, I want it to be straight. I will put a little bit of a curve to it when I get in the detail, but I'm getting in just the basic shape. So this is going to be the head of my humpback whale and then it's going to wrap around towards his tail. And his tail's kind of going off towards the distance so we're not going to see both sides of, of the tail, just kind of a little bit, a hint of it. So. I really like this kind of positioning. There's the typical one where they're diving down and, and you can see that. And I kind of thought about that for a while, but I really like this composition for, for my whale. So from over here, I'm gonna bring this side down just a little bit. This will be his little mouth. And then I'm going to put this kind of a, like a lopsided U shape. It's gonna come over, it's gonna be a little bit fuller over here and curve rather quickly is going to curve up but it's very there's no really big angle to it it's just a nice curve up here but the weight of that curve is towards the back of the whale and then it's going to come up here and his uh but his fluke i think it's his, that's what they're called his, his tail it's going to be back here and we'll just see just a little bit of it right there and we don't see the other part because it's kind of hidden behind all of this. All right, the defining feature of my whale is these long side fins that they have. And again, I'm sorry, I don't know the technical term. So if I measure this between here and here, not quite halfway, a little closer to this side is where I'm gonna start this side fin flipper and it's going to come out and it's really jaggedy on this end and it's going to come down super long and it's going to connect over here and fan out just a little bit and then kind of come down it's like these blades that kind of come down just help him go right through the water but that's what he's really known for he's really not known for any kind of really big hump on his back he's really distinguished um, by these side flippers. I'm gonna put the other one here. Of course, you can't see where it connects because it's on the other side of him, but it's gonna come out in the front end again is all jaggedy. They have their just very distinguishing marks. I think they're kind of like fingerprints for them. Each one's a little bit different. On the back side, a little bit smoother, maybe until it gets towards the end, then gets a little bit jaggedy. It's gonna come down a little bit further because I want this one to appear like it's kind of floating back a little bit. So now I'm going to start really beginning to shape this. I've got these, the back fin and the two side fins in. So this upper part here is where this jaw is going to be. And I'm going to come in from this point to this point, a little over halfway. And I'm going to make this kind of, it's almost like he's frowning. It kind of comes down a little bit as it then goes up. 
and there's a lot more bottom jawline than there is the top jawline. And it comes in not super straight, has this really slight S curve as it goes all the way over. So his bottom jaw is much thicker, and he has this really elastic kind of um, very stretchy skin underneath his bottom jaw. So when he opens up his jaw, he can take in just massive volumes of water to be able to then um, siphon through it and get the krill, which is what he wants to eat. And then, so I'm gonna make a little bit of, I don't want this so, so straight of a line, I want it to be a little bit more organic. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a curve to it as it comes down and around. Just like that. Now this part here I'm going to have this kind of poke up just a little bit. Come down in and kind of then barnacle up there a little bit. He's got little bumps on his noggins and stuff like that. Now before I get into here I want to really put his eye in here. His eye is in between the end of his mouth and his flipper right here and it starts right at the bottom of where his, was it, where his mouth ends where his eye, the top of his eye is, and then it ends before the flipper starts. And it's very similar shape to like a human eye. It's got that very lemony shape to it. Um, I don't know if you've ever had a chance to see a whale eye up close. Um, I did uh, when I went and visited Keiko at the, the Newport Aquarium. I got to see him. Just, he just stared right into my face. It, some great wrinkles. We're going to get into a little bit more detail on that in a little bit. So I have his eye now. Um, now I can begin to play around with the curve. So after it gets back from his head, he smooths out a little bit. It's not as bumpy until he gets to about, about here. And then he has a little bump ridge, not really like a fin, kind of a little bit of a fin, but more of a, of a like a cartilage -y ridge right up there. And then it kind of goes all the way up until it reaches his tail. His tail is thin and just for a little bit and then it just thickens really out a lot. There's a lot of muscle, a lot of power coming down in here. Boom, just like that. Now we're not going to see his tail fin because it's, it's going straight back. It's going with the flow of how he's swimming. Um, you could pull it down a little bit and show a little bit of it if you like. I'm going to keep it very close to what my reference photo is showing me. Let's just look a little bit more of some details down here. They are going to have these great patterns on them and a lot of it is just barnacles and scarring and just wear and tear on him. But some, just some great um, kind of little spots and, and blemishes that are on his face. And then to help get that elastic looking skin you're just going to draw some lines coming down off of his jaw racing down towards the underside of his belly. And they don't have to be symmetrical, they don't have to follow you know, the same distance in between, um, just all the way through there. And they can kind of come up and around his eye, just like that. And you can add some more little barnacles up here. So the shape of our whale is pretty much done. You can go ahead and take your eraser and just erase the lines that you don't need anymore. And then it's time to add some color. So for the coloring on him, the upper part of his body is a darker gray. And then as it kind of comes underneath his chin, it tends to lighten up. Different whales are going to have a little bit different pattern, so you can really play around with this and have a lot more freedom. The same thing with his flippers, the top part of his flippers are going to be a lot darker, where the underside is just this very beautiful, like white, that just reflectant. Um, so you can use whatever you want to color him with. You could, you know, just use the side of your pen pencil to shade that in, or you could use, you know, crayons or markers, colored pencils. I'm going to go ahead and do this in watercolor. I'm going to pull this back so you can see the full piece, and I'm going to do this hopefully all in time lapse. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take me. I'm kind of undertaking a, a new, um, a new challenge that I've never done before, and it possibly will turn into a what was I thinking video. Um, because I've never tried this before and I really want to attempt to take on this technique. So we'll see. But you'll be able to see a little bit of the time lapse here and then I'll come back at the end to show you the finished product and 
give you a couple closing comments. So enjoy. I love creating underwater scenes. They're so fun um, because it's a glimpse into their world. So have fun creating your own humpback whale, whether he's coming up out of the water or swimming in the depths of his oceany world. I would love to see what you create. So make sure to post a picture of that to either my Facebook page or Instagram so that uh, I can take a look at it. And who knows, it might end up in one of my artist showcase videos. So my question to you guys is what kind of aquatic animal would you like to see in an upcoming tutorial? Let me know in the comment section below. I've had a lot of requests for sea turtles. I love sea turtles. They're my favorite. I've also had a request for a leafy sea dragon. We did a seahorse a while ago. Um, but yeah, and we've done a cartoon turtle before. But let me know. Maybe a shark. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you're brand new, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.